scale shows the cross section of a circular me 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 metal disc of radius 21 millimeters and it says a square hole with size 6 millimeters is located at the center of the disc. It's a calculate the circumference of the disc. Now let me just read this again to make sure we're doing the right thing. It shows the cross-sectional area of the circular metal disc. So this is the metal disc. So what is this square talking about? Now a square hole with, oh, the square hole is there at the center of the disc. Okay. So to find the, the, the circumference of the disc, circumference is two pi r. Circumference is two pi r. And remember r is 21 and pi is 22 over seven. So it's two times 22 over seven times 21. And that gave a circumference. So whatever that is, that would be the perimeter or the circumference of the disc. So that works out to be two times 21 times 22 over seven. That's 132 millimeters. 132 millimeters. You could convert this if you want to centimeter, right? Or even to meter, this is what? 0 0.132 meter. Yeah, you could divide it by a thousand. Yeah, 0 0.132 meter. That don't sound too attractive. You could con convert it to centimeter then, 13.2 centimeter. Or you can convert it to decimeter, right? Anything you want to do, it is up to you. It says find an area, find the area of the cross-sectional area of the disc. Area is pi r squared. So area is equal to pi times r times r, which is pi r squared. So pi r squared is going to be 22 over 7. 22 over 7, and that is, of course, being multiplied by r, and r is 21, so that's 21 squared. So that is equal to 22 over 7, 22 over 7 times 21 squared, right? That is 1,386, 1,386 millimeter square. That's the area of the cross section. Nice. What else do they have to offer? They say, given that the thickness of the disc is two millimeters, calculate the maximum number of discs that can be constructed from 1,000 cm cube of available me me metal. Given that the thickness of the disc is two. <laughs> so. Drinking some water. And you look at that question again, it says, given that the thickness of the disc is two millimeters, calculate the maximum number of this that can be constructed from 1000 cm cube of available method. Now, this is clearly volume. All right, this is volume. How do I know that this is volume? Once you're talking about thickness or height or depth, cross-sectional area times height give you volume. So the volume is equal to the cross-sectional area times its height or thickness. We can't even say thick height, it's really just thickness. All right, so the volume 
and that thickness is two millimeters. So the area of the cross section which we found was 1,300 and something. Can't remember what it was quite. 1,386. 1,386 times two. We'll multiply that to get the volume and the volume is 1,386 times two, that's 2,772. Repeating, that's 2,772. 2,772 M, M cube. All right, now it says, calculate the maximum number of this that can be constructed from 1,000 cm cube of available metal. So we want, to we want to calculate the maximum number of this that can be constructed from 1,000 cm cube of available metal. Now if 1,000 cm cube, 1,000 cm cube is gonna give you one disc, all right? 1,000 cm cube gonna give you one disc. So 2.772 millimeter cube gonna give you two point something. So the number of disc, number of disc, number of disc is gonna be equal to 2.727772 and that is divided by 1,000. And so when you divide it by 1,000, you're getting 2.772. Now, 2.772, you can make three quarter of a disc. So the maximum number of disc is two. Maximum number of disc that can be made is two. That's all we're saying, the maximum number of this that can be made is two. Very easy question, soft. Now, let's look at part B. So why did they even mention six millimeter? I don't even understand why that was right there. Well, let's ignore that. Now it says a globe is scaled spherically. A globe is a scaled spherical representation of the earth. The length of the equator, which is the lines of latitude is 40 kilometers and is represented on the globe by a piece of string of 160 centimeters. So what is the length of the string would represent an actual distance of 500 kilometers. So this is direct variation. There are two ways to do direct variation. The easy way I like is the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's this way. What you can do is write down that 40,000 kilometers, 40,000 kilometers goes to 160 centimeter. All right. And so 500 kilometers will go to X. 500 kilometers will go to X. We don't know what X is. X is just in centimeter. So X is gonna be equal to, when you cross multiply, you're gonna get that X is equal to 500,000 times 160 divided by 40,000. So X is five bills times 160 divided by 40,000. Can't bother to find a constant, right? When you're doing the direct variation, you have to find a constant first and then that's too much work. So what we're getting is X is equal to 500 times 160 divided by 40,000, which is two. So two centimeters represents 500 kilometers. 
just two centimeters. All right, two centimeters. So that means uh, the scale is for every one centimeter, every one centimeter represents 250 kilometers. That's what the scale is. All right, they didn't give us a scale now. We can just put it just in case. So pre what happened now, does pre. If you're to multiply this by 160, you're gonna see that 250 times 160 give you the 40,000. All right, so that's the scale. Now it says the distance between Palimir and Quintec is represented by a globe of a string of 25 centimeter. Calculate the value PQ, the actual distance between P and Q. See, they good to have the scale. If at 25 centimeter, the distance between P and Q is 25 times 250. So this is now just 25 times 250. So Pali, Pali, Palimiria and Quintec, no, they're too far from each other. 25 times 250, and let's check that out. 25 times 250, that is 6,250 kilometers. So that is, Pal, Palm, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Palm, Ria, and Quintec are 6,250 kilometers away from each other. That's that question. They are 6,000 meters away from each other. Nothing special about this question, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nice and easy.